Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show on Headlines Today. I'm Siddharth Sharma and this week was exciting when it comes to technology, especially when we talk about smartphones. But before we dive straight into all the action, take a look at the lineup. On the show this week, we get you all the action from the biggest mobile convention in the world. Mobile World Congress 2014. We also get you a review of the all-new LG Curved OLED television. Okay, that was the lineup on the show this week. And what did we like in MWC Barcelona 2014? Well, actually everything. So let's dive straight into all the action and see what made a bang in Barcelona. Nokia, Samsung, HTC, Sony, everyone was present at the biggest playground when it comes to mobile phones. MWC 2014, the mecca of next level smartphone innovation. And all the big guns did not disappoint at all. First up to make waves was Nokia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new Nokia X and the Nokia X Plus. They came out with their new family members, calling them Nokia X family. And yes, they are based on Android operating system. Basically, this new family will run Android open source project that will offer you Android apps onto the device. So finally, a small step for Nokia to enter into the world of Android. So what are the new smartphones in the Nokia X family? Meet the Nokia X, Nokia X Plus and the Nokia XL. Nokia X features a 4-inch WVGA display and is powered by a 1 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon dual-core processor paired with 512 MB of RAM. Nokia X will have 4 GB internal storage with a micro SD card support, 3 megapixel camera and a 1500 mAh battery. The Nokia X Plus looks identical to the Nokia X with a few changes. The RAM is souped up to 768 MB and well, that's all to talk about in that. The Nokia XL on the other hand has a 5-inch display, a 5-megapixel camera, 1GHz dual-core processor, 768 MB of RAM and 4GB of internal storage with support of expandable memory card slot. All the phones support dual SIM and will not have access to Google Play Store. Instead, Nokia will offer its own app store, which will feature a combination of Android, Windows and its own apps. The Nokia X will be priced approximately 6 to 7,000 rupees. X Plus will come at a price tag of 7 to 8,000 rupees. And the Nokia XL will cost you around 10,000 rupees. Well, well, Nokia seems to be on the right track when it comes to the all new Nokia X family. The phones are placed right between the Nokia Asha and the Nokia Lumia range. The Nokia X will probably reach the Indian shores by next month, but the X Plus and the XL will take a little more time to come to India. Anyways, moving on, Samsung also made waves at MWC 2014 as they unveiled the all-new Samsung Galaxy S5. Let's have a look. Samsung Galaxy S4 was a wonderful smartphone. It did good, really good in India. And now the next level is here too. Meet the all new Samsung Galaxy S5. The Galaxy S5 features a 5.1 inch Full HD Super AMOLED panel that looks similar to the S4 screen. There is now an integrated fingerprint scanner and a capacitive keys for multitasking. The looks are also similar to the existing Galaxy family and now a new charging port, USB 3.0, is enabled onto the S5. The cool part about the S5 is that it's an IP67 rated for water and dust resistance. The S5 features Android 4.4 KitKat operating system with Samsung's user interface fully intact and the camera is also upgraded to 16 megapixels now. And yes, it is capable of 4K video recording and real-time HDR processing. When it comes to the processing power on the Galaxy S5, it is loaded with a 2.5 GHz quad-core processor, 2 GB of RAM, and S5 is expected globally by 11th of April this year, which is, well, very near. 
pricing as we would guess will be above rupees 45000 for sure now that is one smartphone that i'll be really looking forward to when it comes to india anyways the waterproofing on the samsung galaxy s5 looks familiar very familiar i wonder where i saw that sony Sony were the ones who came out with dust resistant and waterproof smartphones and tablets back in 2013 and they did not disappoint in MWC 2014. So let's see what new smartphone they came out with in Barcelona. Sony unveiled the next level to their popular dust and water resistant smartphone. Meet the all new Sony Xperia Z2. It now features a 20.7 megapixel XMOR RS for mobile CMOS image sensor that is capable of doing 4K resolution videos. Xperia Z2 also supports a 5.2 inch full HD triluminous display. When it comes to the power, it is provided by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor with 2.3 GHz quad core crate CPU. 3 GB of RAM and a 3200 mAh battery is also on board. Z2 will run on Android KitKat operating system and when it finally lands in India, make sure that your pockets run deep because this one sure looks like a winner when it comes to a powerhouse smartphone in 2014. Now you know what, Sony's industrial design made them quite popular in 2013 and they are sticking to the same formula in 2014 as well with the all new Sony Xperia Z2. But the phone looks brilliant. Now the other smartphone that caught our eye at MWC 2014 was from Russia. Meet the all new Yota Phone version 2.0. The dual screen Yota Phone debuted in CES last year. But the new Yota Phone 2.0 features a 5 inch 1080p AMOLED screen on one side and a 4.7 inch 960 by 540 e-ink display on the other. The e-ink display now enables touch apart from reading books and text. Yota phone is powered by a 2.26 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, runs on Android 4.4 KitKat and the retail version of the smartphone is expected to launch at a price tag of Rs 50,000 and above. Now two screens on a smartphone, that is fantastic. But smartphones were not the only things that made waves at MWC 2014. There was also a tablet tucked in which was a stunner. Let's see which one it was. Sony was on a roll at MWC 2014. Meet the all new Sony Z2 tablet. It is a super slim tablet and yes, it is waterproof. Z2 tablet features a 10.1 inch display and a 2.3 GHz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor with an Adreno 330 GPU. Sony says that the Z2 will charge 75% faster than the competing devices. The battery on the Z2 tablet is a 6000 mAh lithium ion polymer battery that delivers 10 hours of video playback. You also get a 8.1 megapixel camera on the back that is capable of doing HD video recording. The price on the Z2 tablet is not yet announced, but it is landing sometime in March this year. Okay, smartphones check, tablets check. Now what about wearable technology? Now that is something that every tech company is investing in. And they did not disappoint at all in Barcelona as well. So let's see what all wearable tech were put on showcase. Samsung came out with the Galaxy Gear last year along with the Note 3. And at MWC 2014, they showcased the second generation of Galaxy Gear, calling it the Samsung Galaxy Gear 2. Now it's a Tizen part smartwatch with new apps and improvements over the previous generation Galaxy Gear. But what intrigued us was not the Gear 2, but the Samsung Galaxy Gear Fit. It's a curved band that looks like a bracelet. 
and has an OLED touch display as well. GearFit comes with Android notifications, water resistant body, a heart rate sensor and about 3 days of battery life. There is no phone call support on the GearFit and it's more of a lifestyle wearable device. And when it finally comes to India, it should be priced a little over rupees 15,000 for sure. Huawei also came up with the TalkBand B1. It's a hybrid wearable that tracks your activities as well as makes you listen to phone calls. TalkBand B1 is also dust and water resistant and has promised Android and iOS compatibility. Now this is one gadget that we'll be really looking forward to for sure. Now Sony has been making wearables almost every year and this year also they did not disappoint. They showcased the Sony Smartband SWR10. It combines an activity tracker, sleep tracker and what Sony calls a life logging companion inside. And it syncs with the Sony Life app on the Xperia devices. The SWR10 Smartband keeps a log of both physical as well as social activities. When it finally comes to India, this wearable is expected to come at a sweet pricing of Rs 12,000 rupees or less for sure. Okay, I was in love with the Samsung Galaxy Gear and I'm so looking forward for Samsung to get the Gear Fit to India. It looks one cool piece of wearable technology. And on that note, it's time for me to take a small break on the show, but you don't go anywhere because there's a lot more action coming your way on the other side.